Good day everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to try and get a grip of how MVC frameworks work. Raw PHP is a PHP framework that works with the MVC pattern. That's the way the files are organized, you understand? So the M stands for model, the V stands for controller, for view, and the C stands for controller. You know, usually if you're designing your site with just PHP, you mix everything together, both the database connection, calls, and everything is written on the same file where your form is existing and written on the same file where your, your methods and controller logic is exi existing. So in MVC, everything is kind of separated. So I'm going to show you a picture that will kind of explain it for you. So you have a general overview of how these are organized. So first of all, we have our database which we have here and um, we called it um, raw jobs that's a database and then we connected to it when we set up our database files and remember in raw php there was a point where we set up in config we had our config file here and we set up this database connection so this is where we made the connection to this database this is our database this is where we made the connection from here and then the database first communicates with the models the models kind of loads the, the database um, data see where we have models in in raw php um, the models are inside the app folder let me minimize everything so it becomes clear to you so inside the app folder we have um middlewares we have models these are models. So every table in a database needs to have a model. And remember, the models are named in capital letters and uh, in uh, singular. So you have row, you have user. But then if you come to the database, you observe that the database tables are all named in, in uh, small caps and then all plural. So you have posts, you have, um, you have users. Everything is named in small letters and all plural as you can see they're all plural but then your models are named in singular and uh, is capitalized which means the first letter is always capital letter all right so from this the model kind of loads the database and you know it goes to and fro this arrow is not correct it should be to and fro you understand and then from the model the controller gets information and this arrow should be to and fro again Controller loads information about a certain table, for instance, the post table. So here you have post.p. So right here, we're just going to put, um, so for instance, here we have posts, all small letter, that's post table. So, so here we have the, the model, it's going to be post.php. And then here we have the controller. The controller is going to be, yes, yeah, starts with capital letter. But this time it's plural, posts controller.php. And then we have route, then you have views. The views will now be in resources. Views. Posts. It will have different posts, the posts folder. It will have different posts uh, views, which is the, the add, edit, and delay. We'll get to that. So um controller connects to the model so let's look at our posts model for instance here's our post model as you can see it just loads laravel eloquent model if you are using cake php you can just uncomment this if you uncomment this it will start using cake php too so you can use both cake php and laravel inside it all right that's the main purpose of raw php different people from different php backgrounds can work on the same project so on um, and the link is here if you want to read up about cake php uh, model you, you should read it up and if you're using laravel you should read up laravel eloquent after all this is supposed to be 5.4 so you, you just copy this link paste on your browser and uh, read up the eloquent it kind of helps you understand how to write some of these um, codes all right so these are post model as you can see it connects to the post stable on the database and then there are some fields that we need to be uh, allowed to fill that are assignable all right we'll get to that later on and then if we go to the post controller have the posts controller if we look at the top of the file we'll see that something is happening after the namespace uh, these two guys is loading the users table 
it's loading the posts table too so it's calling on the posts uh, model that we just uh, saw right now so the post controller kind of takes information from the post model and is able to send information once you have this it's able to use the posts uh, table to send and receive information all right and any other table that you any other model that you involve here you can use it somewhere in your code as you can see we had users who, because we wanted to find a certain user's details and wanted to be able to find a certain post details so we have users and post models so in a controller you can load several models that you need but most importantly you need to load the model for that controller because you most likely need it so um back to our image here now the controller is ready the controller has several methods so for instance right here our uh, model is ready and inside our model will have um, several methods this is the index and it's supposed to list all users or all posts then uh, this is the this is the view that's supposed to display post remember you can always write your own just make sure that you started with public function then you call your model anything because in the end the views will make a call to this model through the routes then this is the add the one that is used for adding posts this contains the code for adding posts and this is the method for editing posts this is a method for deleting posts you basically need these certain me these methods in your or in almost all your models you need to view all you need to view a certain item then you need to add edit and delete all right so this is the kind of thing you have in your controller then you have your view i'll get to routes the view will contain the view for each of these so if according to this code this code basically finds all posts and uh, displays it and then where does it display it it displays it in a view file called index.twig that is inside posts so if we go to resources let me minimize all this we go to resources go to views so what we have is a post folder as you can see there's a post here so we look at the posts folder and we're looking for index.twig so if we go there we'll see that we'll see the html there's an html for displaying lists a list of all posts so this is what the user sees this will show all the posts so if we go to a uh, raw php file and we um, go to home page localhost slash 8000 so if we go to the home page and see the list of posts that's exactly what the user this is the list of posts so this is the page that handles it this index.twig it handles it so how does this page get displayed through the routes that i've explained in the earlier videos through the route so there's a route for each of these files each of these views have a route each of these views there's a route for it so if we check the route file that's under the resources and check under posts um we'll look for the posts routes and here under posts we will see that there is a, a route for index there's a route for uh add there's a route for edit then there's a route for view and there's a route for delete all right so this is how the mvc works so it starts from the view either you're sending a post request or a get request or put path delete request it passes through the route the route processes it and decides which controller to forward it to which controller method or you know, action to forward it to say so forwards it to a controller method for example index and then from there the controller decides what to do which is basically make a call to your model and your model fetches information from your database and passes down to the controller and the journey starts backward again there's going to be a view that will be displayed and then the user will see uh, the results of their query so this is how it works see you in the next video where we will set up a database uh, and continue from there